So I wanted to give a very brief overview of what's going on with Alston's article, What Euthyphro Should Have Said. The thesis that he's defending is the divine command theory of morality. And that thesis is the idea that one is obligated to tell the truth means or implies that God commands one to tell the truth. So if there is a moral obligation, there has to be a command from God behind that, making it an obligation. And the challenge to this theory is a dilemma. And Alston doesn't try to argue for the theory being correct, but he's responding to this dilemma. He's defending it against this challenge. So the dilemma is such. We ought to do A because God commands us to do A on the one hand, or the other alternative is God commands us to do A because it's good that we do A. And the problem with these horns are that for the first horn, we do A because God commands it. It seems like that makes God commands arbitrary, right? The God could command whatever he wanted to, and it would be the right thing to do. Um, another problem with this idea is that it seems to make the claim that God is good a vacuous claim. I mean, God fulfilling his own commands, that means he's good. That doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really say much about the goodness of God. Now, on the other hand, if there's a standard of morality apart from God, independent of God, then God would be subject to moral evaluations. And that doesn't seem right for a theist. So what Alston does is he says, wait a minute, on, on the first horn that we, doing good is what is doing commanded by God. Um, the idea of obligation only applies when it's at least possible for somebody not to conform. But God's perfectly rational, so it's actually not possible for him to fail to conform. So this idea of moral obligations applying to God doesn't make sense. So that tells us that the goodness of God does not consist in him doing what he ought to do. However, we could still consider God good because he has traits that we consider to be good. God is loving and merciful and just. And of course, those are analogous when we are applying those to God. But the, God has those traits that we identify in a good person. So we can say that God is good. So that's not a vacuous claim when we say that. The second problem there with that first horn. And his commands are not going to be arbitrary. The first concern there with the first horn, um, because he's loving and just and merciful. On the second horn, if there's a standard of goodness that's separate from God, then God would be subject to moral evaluations. Alston responds that, well, God himself can play the role of the form of the good. So God just is that standard of good. So there's nothing independent from God by which we identify God as good. So that's how he defends the divine command theory from this dilemma.